This is the Vetru 850 watt sold by Vetru. With a current MSRP of $90 US, it is a fully modular ATX 3.1 power supply with an additional hybrid fan mode allowing passive operation for low loads. We tested a single sample of this power supply and it failed while testing the protections. For more information on the partial results and failures of the unit, see the product page on the LTT Labs website. The power supply comes in reasonable packaging and measures 150 by 85 by 140 millimeters. Considering cable flexibility, it has an effective depth of 170 millimeters. The Vetru 850 watt is accompanied by the accessories as shown and supported by a 10-year warranty. This warranty period is as expected for a power supply of this class. The fully modular cables are of acceptable quality. They have plastic insulation and are moderately flexible. They should cause no problems while building and cable managing your computer. The provided cable set includes a single 12-volt 2x6 cable, allowing it to power all types of high-wattage GPUs. LTT Labs conducted all of the following testing at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The full test suite, including tests at extended temperature ranges, is available on the lab's website linked in the description. But before we get to the test results, here's a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. We've been using their secure high-speed VPN for years, and you can too. Get a special deal by going to pia.com slash psucircuit. The Vetru 850 watt carries an 80 plus gold rating and we have measured 92% efficiency at 50% of its maximum rated load. That is slightly higher than power supplies in a similar class. Throughout the full rated output power range of 850 watts, there was a 0.166 voltage drop on the 12 volt rail inside of ATX specifications and similar to other power supplies we've tested. This could pose issues for builds that have power draws approaching the limit of the power supply. The peak-to-peak -peak signal ripple of the fully loaded power supply's 12-volt rail was slightly high at 39 millivolts, while the 5-volt and 3.3-volt rails had signal ripple of 27 millivolts and 42 millivolts, respectively. Modern power supplies typically have no issue complying with ATX ripple specifications, but this unit failed at a few test points. We test a power supply's resilience to momentary power dropouts and ripples using our brownout test that interrupts the input power for a few milliseconds. This allows us to measure how long of a power dropout the sample can sustain without interrupting the output power. The Vetru 850 watt was measured to withstand a 10 millisecond dropout at full rated load for 115 volt and 230 volt inputs respectively. This is shorter than desired and may be more susceptible to poor power quality. The excursion test momentarily applies up to 200% of the rated load to test a power supply's ability to support components that may temporarily require more than their rated current. The Vetru 850 watt withstood all of the excursions but failed to maintain ATX voltage limits in a few cases. This is unlikely to impact reliability for a vast majority of workloads. We do not recommend the Vetru 850 watt because of its failures while testing the protections. For full specifications and test results, follow the link to the product page on the LTT Labs website.